Hello peeps and welcome. Today I have a very fun video for you because I'm gonna do a redesign slash head cannon design of the straw heads from One Piece after the time skip. So I'm gonna start the series with my favorite trio of One Piece and that is Luffy, Zoro and Nami, the first three straw heads. One thing I want to clarify before we get into it is that I'm a huge fan of Eshiro Oda and One Piece. I don't want to disrespect him or his work in any kind of way, so this is just a fun fan art. Actually, he is my idol. I just love his world building, his characters and his art. I'm very excited, so let's get started. Okay. Here you can see I did a colored sketch for everyone. So starting with Luffy, I wanted to create my old reference pictures so I don't have to think too much in my final piece that I did in the end. For this outfit, I wanted a very similar style like in the original, but I don't want it to give him a complete open shirt, so I decided to give him a deep cut out so you can see the scar on his chest. I tried to make him a little bit more major, but still fun. So you can see that two years went by and he really developed in those years. Color wise, I really like the combo of red, blue and yellow. So I just muted them a bit and we are pretty happy with it. Next one is Zoro. I wanted to give him something more casual because I, I really like his outfit after the time skip but I think it's too fancy. For special occasions it's very cool but for his everyday outfit I think his old shirts were more suitable. I have to admit that I really like how he became such a beast in those two years and I really wanted to draw him like that but I couldn't really do it so I'm sorry I would do it in the future. Alright, let's talk about his colors. I wanted to give him his tan bag like he had it in the old days in the early animations. And for his shirt I wanted to use fall colors because I thought they went very well with his green hair. And up next we have Nami. I've had so much fun with her design. She is my muse for all time. She is the reason why I'm here today. <laughs> okay, firstly I wanted to give her shorter hair but still long because sorry but hair doesn't grow that much in two years. I know it's an anime but I know. <laughs> and another thing is that I wanted to give her smaller boobs uh, because it is too much I think. Personally I enjoy fan service but for that you don't have to pump them up even more. And I still gave her a revealing outfit and her style and some uh, jewelry and I had to use the belt that she had after the time skip because I think it looks very cool. Yeah, and that's her design done. And now let's get started with the final piece where I draw these three characters together. I saw a very cool reference picture on Pinterest where three models are doing those poses and I immediately saw this trio in them. Yeah, I started in the front, drawing Luffy in a relaxing lying pose, showcasing his easygoing character. Behind Luffy we have Zoro with the coolest pose. I love the way he looks over his shoulder and his leg is positioned in the front. He looks like he's posing before an epic attack. And last but not least we have Nami in the back being cheeky as she is. I've struggled a bit with posing her but I managed it in the end. It's so surprising how much passion and fun I had with this process. 
So I am very interested in what you guys think of this project. Do you want to see more and which character you want to see in which combo? I'm really looking forward to your feedback. Okay, the sketch is done. Now we're moving on to the line art. And now I'm gonna speed it a little bit up and you can enjoy. After we are done with the line art, I went in and picked the colors from my own made reference. After that I've decided that I wanted to do a little background, so I did a little random one. Another surprising thing was that I liked uh, doing the shadows for the background. I'm really trying to get out of my comfort zone so I'm very happy that this background went, mm, I would say, well. Finally is the time for rendering the characters. I like the rendering of skin and eyes the most. It's so relaxing. I just can dive in and let the magic happen. At the time I drew this piece, I actually watched a Ghibli film and it was so inspiring to see this, those good drawn backgrounds and characters with so much emotions. <sighs> I just love it. Normally I don't watch films when I work on something, but I just needed something that gives me motivation and ah, yes, I found it. What do you do when you're drawing something? Do you listen to music or watch a movie like I did? Um, or do you prefer just silence? Yeah, let me know. I would like to know your strategies. And the last one in the rendering process. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how many hours this painting took me, but I think it really paid out. I 
was able to practice backgrounds and posing characters so I learned something. I'm very excited about challenging myself um, in the next one. If you have some ideas or suggestions then let me know in the comments. If you liked my video please give it a thumbs up and when you don't want to miss something a subscription would be awesome. Thank you so much for being here, I'm very happy and I will see you in the next one, so until then, bye!